feel about it. And it will be Josh Roberts from the two Blues to get us underway. Fast pace is expected from this game, especially from the team with numbers ranging all the way up to 64. Bit of a fun sight to see. As New Zealand inside the 22, Hacho, what's their way out from here? Shaky start from New Zealand, and they had a good opportunity for Shada to pin them in, in the dead ball, but just let them out a little bit easy, and they to get into their work here. Now the Oceania side comes away with the ball. They're inside the 22. Quick pass away for Roberts, but there'll be a knock on first scrum of the game. Testing start. Oceania definitely showing that they're up for it, surrounding the player in the tackle, because I'm sure they're aware of New Zealand's big bodies and ability to offload. So you'll see the players get in that offload channel, try and get turnovers like that. Now, New Zealand actually came across with a pretty big squad and they've managed to widow out a team for the championship this weekend. Uh, how big a deal would it be for these boys to perform at a high level, especially with uh, well, seven starting up pretty soon? Yeah, hugely. I think all the Oceania teams put great emphasis on this on this tournament to get their season running, but also every team wants to win it. They certainly don't want to lose, Hachi, as the Zealand inside the 22 looking to go in and away, really making a fantastic run of it, and it's a great finish here by Vai, and he will drop it down a gear, coast all the way to the northern end. First points go to New Zealand. Tim Mickelson there, uh, one of the most caps sevens players of all time. Oozes experience, really, and you can see he's just nice, patient, calm, does his job, beats his man, turns him inside out, noses in the gap, makes it very easy for Ailey to score the first try. First successful too, they pick up a handy seven. As play comes back to the middle of the field, I always marvel Hachi. Uh, players can ball carries going into contact and the behind the behind the defender back offload it's just it's such a beautiful thing to see freeing those hands and getting that ball away from the contact zone has become such a skill that's honed in on these days it's very important restart from back cook savage right. falls away of new zealand cook savage back with the ball now they, a little bit of a gander out wide good leg drive from Vai. States with Mickelson. And New Zealand here on this left hand side. Hands getting free as McGarvey Black is away. He'll beat the first man and he will fly through to finish it off. It's another easy looking try for New Zealand. New Zealand just finding it a little bit too easy to get on the outside of that second last man, getting that last Australian Oceania defender to bite in. I'd love to see. Adams there, um, Hawk, sorry, to come in a little bit tighter with Stolberg and work together as a team rather than be defending on an island, being isolated, allowing the Kiwi players to pick him up. So Oceania side, they're in their pairs looking to get some bodies up to try and grab this restart. So far, New Zealand uh, 1 0 for retaining them. This one, a little bit too much on it. It's going to go out on the full. So Oceania for the restart, middle of the park. First chance here, we get to see what Oceania have to offer. Um, set piece move coming up, hopefully, and watch them rip in. It's happening away there from Roberts as he goes over the left hand side of the field. Darling run here. On the left, it's very tidy from Oceania. Now the penalty against New Zealand for not rolling away. Quick tap and go here by Roberts. Centers it up nicely for Houston. The stars from the Shoot Shield competition here in Brisbane, in Sydney, I beg your pardon. There it is now for Wusendreke. Not many options there for the new as play for Oceania. Creeps inside the New Zealand 22. Roberts again. He's had a lot of possession so far as he gets slammed down to the ground. And now he gets done for not holding on. It's the quick. 
quick go here from New Zealand inside the 22. Wonderful carry and offload from McGarvey. Black with the ball will bobble around. New Zealand look to find some room on that right hand side. Mulia. Second man in, fires it out to the wing, and now New Zealand. Offloading under contact brilliantly, and they're away and running again. Regan Ware. Sublime from New Zealand. They create that one little opportunity 80 metres away. Just a great display of fitness and athleticism. Gets them across for another trip. Long pass and play, play there. Both teams will be feeling it. I'd love to see Oceania be a little bit more connected in defence. They had them pinned down there in their 22. They could just bring the line speed as a seven and put New Zealand under pressure there. Might have been a different story. Oh, it's been a cracking first half. Less than a minute on the clock. Three converted tries. Sees New Zealand up 21 points to nil over Oceania. Showing a lot of synergy. Showing a lot of awareness of one another's abilities as they look to rein it back in but it's now with Oceania Roberts across the park another good pass after from Cameron there's the 10 metre line half time is a calling as New Zealand forced the turnover and mount another attack 45 out switch underneath before they Hit the afterburners, looking for the offload. It's well into the hands of Captain Collier. Off the deck, gives it nicely for Molia. And New Zealand really opening it up here. Mickelson straightens up, back on the inside, and away is Cook Savage. And it'll be four tries for New Zealand in this opening half. They have this game on a string. Henry Hutchins. Clinical half from New Zealand, I think. Oceania need to be really careful on just committing too many to the tackle or too many to the ruck zone. We use a term of training, honey potting, having our heads turned in, always looking at that ruck. New Zealand able to free that ball because the boys are so focused at that one point of the game that they're able to find some space out wide, and that's what's made the Oceania boys And really interesting as well, Hutchie, we're seeing that New Zealand have first players getting into the contact zone. He's keeping himself active for that half a second. And that's just providing options for the guys around him to get a run on and pick the best course to try and break through the line and get another line break. So four tries in this opening half, that's a pretty good start. Keeping your feet moving and powering for the tackle is so important. We know New Zealand's a power team. Oceania will be aware of that. They've got to be more efficient with the tackle. To wait off in defence and tackle you hard in the edges. So they can take it forward Square out the man in the middle of the field, they'll get paid. And as we see a hectic restart, called by way of Oceania, who are now across the halfway line on the front foot, going nicely is Bacon. His offload is intercepted, though. Here we are. It's going to be the statesman, Tim Mickelson, away, managing those hammies on the way in. Passes it back onto the inside, always thinking about the points. And it'll be a great try there. For Dylan Collier, the captain, and New Zealand. So many amazing parts of that try that just ooze the experience that we know they have. Yeah, hit the nail on the head there. Just Mickelson knowing where to be, where the ball's going, understanding that an inexperienced player might push a pass like that while being tackled, while feeling isolated. It's a good heads up footy by, by New Zealand. Sharnia just needs to retain the ball, do the basics well. Get back to their system. The pipe are competitive at these restarts. Collier and Makuli Saw getting up and batting it back for their sides. Oceania will take this one easy. Out of the woods yet, though, inside the 10 metre line, but now a quick turnover for New Zealand. Didn't take long for them to get play, get the ball back in play. No look pass, floats out for Mickelson, but that was forward. Oshani out of jail there. Mickelson was looking like he could have potentially be running in again. 
There's a muck. Still plenty of time left in this second half. Oceania, though, they are up against it. Good for attacking opportunity here for Oceania. Um, we can somehow manipulate our half after loose, getting around, using the nine and the ten together to try and isolate the New Zealand centre pairing and see if we can get some gain line. So we've just seen some real wholesale changes for both teams, two or three each side. How much will that change the style of the game? Or do you think these teams would have intrinsic patterns that they're going to keep following regardless of the personnel? There'll be definitely a pattern and a system that they'll want to implement and they're all across. Changing is really just a change of tempo of the game. So hopefully the new players coming on can add, add a bit of a boost. Now Oceana looking to throw a nice switch play out the back and move their way up the middle of the park. New Zealand aggressive tackling drag the ball carrier away from his support get the turnover and they are quick as lightning to mount the counter Little flick of the foot there from Rako Lissio, and he passes it back on the inside it'll be a double for Collier the captain once again understands there's a pretty good chance he's going to grab the tries if he loiters in the middle of the park in front of the sticks when the line breaks happen. Oh, disappointing for Oceania. They did they did their job off the set piece. They manipulated the defence and made some good gain line. But they're just waiting around the rock zone. They're waiting for the Kiwis to get over the ball and then they're attacking the player. They need to get in there earlier, seal off the, 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 the carrying player, and make sure they secure the ball quickly. They're not they're losing that battle, that breakdown, and it's just killing them. What line break it was though from Rocco Lissoa. Restart. Cook Savage. Roll away inside the Oceania 22. Check on Oceania. Under immense pressure. They'll have a penalty to play. Still lots of feel between them and their potential first points. Six converted tries by New Zealand. It's really dominated the script of this game. They've been surgical with how they've executed today. Now they are inside. The Tenoch trying to break through. Papa was there. New Zealand not letting them have an easy breakdown anywhere Cameron offloads it under tackle as Oceania give it their all to try and get close to halfway but another penalty at the breakdown from New Zealand sees Oceania going quick Roberts is the man in the lead Roberts can he outrun him he's under a lot of pressure there from Moses Leo and it'll turn over for New Zealand who now chip and chase it down the park Vai is there he's got some speed Papa's gonna have to move it and he dives onto the ball quick pick and go again a lot of pressure from New Zealand who give away a penalty it's end-to-end -end stuff here at Ballymore Oceania Now it's a loose carry from Oceania and it'll be try number seven for New Zealand and you won't see an easier one for Moses Leo. Uh, you can see a fatigue setting in there for both teams. End to end footy, 22 to 22. Fatigue kicks in and dehydration kicks in on the sun. Just small errors, handling errors can leak around the ruck and New Zealand were good enough to capitalise. Been a perfect match for New Zealand so far. Seven from seven off the kick. And that's the reward you get, isn't it? They're breaking Oceania so far out that they're having the luxury of getting those tries nice and close to the post. And that's a really big indicator about how much or how little a team has the game on a string. Indeed. They've, they've been in the, in the front seat from, from the get-go. Um, oh, they're in the front seat again. <laughs> Here it is with Jay Clark. New Zealand will be going 
all the way to 14 minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock. What can they do now? Looking to notch up the half century as they jostle around looking for the best way through. New Zealand. What can they muster here? They'll get a penalty from Oceana. Now they go out to the left-hand side. Another pass from Cook. Savage out to the wing. And they're striding away with plenty of speed. Keeping it alive nicely, though. They've got a few more options. Cook Savage inside the 22. Gives it nicely for Jay Clark. And New Zealand crack 50. It's eight tries for their effort. What a benchmark for the men's international pool. Eh? Yeah, statement definitely made by New Zealand. Uh, seven so often when you bring a team from end to end, you know they're going to break in the middle of the field and that's where they found the hole to score their last try. Well, full time here New Zealand defeat Oceania 56 points, 2-0. Plenty of action coming your way, stay with us.